EA Games just gave up on their FIFA license. Their cash cow. Now the real reason is why. EA Games basically makes hand over fist with their sports games. Especially with FIFA. And in 2019 or 2020, they made $1.3 billion on microtransactions microtransactions alone with FIFA Ultimate Team. $1.3 billion. Uh, where is that money going to? Reinvesting on the game? Or is it going to be sent, some of the money is going to be sent to other projects outside of FIFA? Like the Dead Space Remake? Or is it just going straight to their executives? So they can buy another yacht that they're going to use for a month or so or for a collection. I don't know why executives, why corporate executives love to collect yachts. But seriously, uh, seriously, EA, when uh, FIFA approached EA and won $1 billion over the next four years, an amount that is easily payable due to the fact that they make $1 billion, EA Games make $1 billion, over $1 billion over FIFA through their microtransaction mode uh, ultimate team, EA just gave up and it's trying to go uh, off brand and now FIFA is now uh, seeking other uh, pleasures to make FIFA for uh, FIFA 2023. I mean I don't know why EA just wanted to give up all that money. Now mind you that uh, FIFA Mind you that uh, FIFA, I mean, mind you that EA basically makes a lot of money legally out of children and our problem gamblers and whales through their, through their microtransactions for Ultimate Team. So the real question is why they gave up? Why they gave up $1.3 billion? $1.3 billion. That and it spread out through four years. That's about $200, $250 million per year. They could easily pay that up every year with the amount of money they earn. Literally license to print money. So why FIFA gave it up so easily? Let me tell you the real reason. Because EA Games has gotten a lot of flack in the United States in Europe, especially in some parts of Western Europe, over their microtransaction mode for FIFA Ultimate Team. Remember the phrase, surprise mechanics? Some European countries <coughs> have outlawed loot boxes. There have been inquiries in Parliament in the United Kingdom over FIFA, FIFA's loot bo through EA FIFA games loot boxes. There have been, there have been uh, laws in some areas of uh, Europe that have outlawed these types of microtransactions to a point where uh, Pokemon Masters, the uh, cell phone gacha game, has been outlawed in some countries. EA has been feeling the heat for years regarding their microtransactions and for FIFA Ultimate Team and some uh, YouTube com commentators and on Twitter are are disgusted and are, and are very seriously enraged over the fact that this game is basically real life gambling. Legalized real life gambling and it's rated evil G, E for everyone, or Peggy Free. In reality, in any country any parliamentary ha ha that has the have the guts to say this game should be rated uh, Peggy 18 because you can gamble with real money, and it's basically gambling. Loot boxes is gambling. I want to make it plain and simple. Any use of loot boxes 
in a video game that you use real money for, or you, or indirectly use real money through gems, or through any other third party uh, accessory, third party currency that is only usable in the game itself, is a form of gambling. It should be regulated as gambling, and at minimum, there should be a warning sign saying that any price or character or waifu that you want has a very low chance of appearing. So that's why EA Games is dropping out of uh, FIFA. That's why they get. Well, that's why they gave up the license because they've been feeling the heat of uh, of uh, of various governments in the United States and in Europe for far too long. And instead of a main, yeah, our game is gambling. We're going to cooperate with them. We're going to make sure that uh, that uh, we're going to follow uh, various rules for gambling. Instead of uh, cooperating with their governments and not forcing their governments to have a hard hand on EA Games, they decided to quit. EA Games decided to quit making FIFA games because it's the easiest way to, to end the inquiries. It's the easiest way to lose the heat from various European governments. Instead of actually complying with the law or forcing uh, governments to apply laws that will effectively lose their bottom line, effectively uh, cost them their bottom line. So that is the real reason why EA Games and EA Sports basically gave up on the FIFA license. And that's why FIFA is currently looking to other publishers to publish slash develop the game. Because it's, it's an easy way out for EA Sports and EA Games to, uh... It's an easy way out for EA Sports to get rid of the, uh... Of the, of the, uh... Of the inquiries and heat from their dependence on microtransactions. Ultimately, it's going to cost them. Because 30% of their... Almost 30% of their revenue comes from microtransactions from FIFA Ultimate Team. And they need to make better games. They need to transition to better games. Basically, better well-made games. They are not obsessed with, they are not laying with microtransactions or, uh, or always online live services. Because eventually these live services these microtransaction bubbles, it's going to pop. And EA Games is going to be one of them. EA Games is going to be one of them. Ubisoft is one of them. And with the current rise of our uh, woke culture within the major video game uh, companies, with the major exception of Nintendo, we're going, we may be seeing a crash within two to three years. This is JK from the Ministry of Taku signing out. Have a good morning or good evening, however you are. 